they're gonna they're gonna feel fine because they just got so much they got so much beef right lyrical <laughs> they're just they got, they got these thick boys that are looking to get in and throw some hands I'm so excited i can't wait i get in there magnus we'll start abed gonna start punching people 800 starting hp 700 starting hp this et is gonna just man up on folks and try and get in the fight does have the spirit and already gonna start laying into that disruptor um that's kind of an interesting one too he went for the cinder brew level one and then they throw the astral on it afterwards that's kind yeah, of yeah cool. trigger is off any damage now so you can uh you can get the the extra bonus very very quickly this is a, a scary lane actually for navi it's not often that you see a double range lane against double melee and go oh yeah the double range lane might actually be able to die here right you know because the et throws a spirit onto the creeps or and it like drags it through them when they get the cinder burr on if you get too close to ramsey's one time and you get that thunderclap on you it could just be the end we'll have to watch for that one closely down here bottom it's also a matchup of double melee against the range in the melee Fly gonna have to work overtime as Easy just keeps on punching away on Pasha. Hey, yeah, this is how you deal with Underlord. You just bully him at low levels. He doesn't really do much until like two or three. <laughs> um, some matchups you can get atrophy early and really stack your base damage and stuff. He's just gonna TP out. And I think at the moment, uh, yeah, Zach's doing some some creep pulls. Oh man, Arteezy's actually gonna try and keep this creep wave from going underneath the tower though. He always does this. Yeah. He's gonna drag it around between the tier one and the tier two, and he's gonna just let his wave die. Okay. This is the RTZ classic. <laughs> I've seen him do this every game. <laughs> it's really good though. Like this is what you want, right? Because essentially what you're doing here is you're denying a whole creep wave from at least one of the heroes. Like now Pasha is forced into a very like uncomfortable position to CS here. While uh, now he doesn't have to worry about his lane pushing, as we're gonna see the first blood there. It's like fly just. Uh, I don't even know how that happened. What the hell? Uh, yeah, I don't know how that happened. I honestly, that's my bad. I feel like <laughs> I distracted you. No, you're fine. <laughs> but yeah, the uh, top lane as well. Yeah. Some damage coming out. I've been liking seeing just supports coming to lane with. I mean, right now, Fly has five mangoes in his inventory. He's ready to queue some people. This is what I do in Turbo also. You just buy like 10 mangoes and sit in the lane and just keep queuing people. Well, it's the only way they're, they're going to have a comfortable lane. Because as soon as the Underlord gets levels for EG, this lane's going to get a lot worse. Yeah, already taking a lot of damage in this early going. Zayat's going to try and get a pull off, it looks like. Although Fly comes to interrupt it. And while that's going on, well, up top, it's actually the other way around as Ramsey's trying to kill off Crystallize and will be able to bring nice. him down. Mega worth. That's a good trade. Support for core, we take that every time if you're EG. So, kind of interesting little dynamic that you've got going on here. Abed is pulling the creep wave back and forth. Magical with his DD was able to force him completely out of the lane for a second. He has another round of creeps coming through underneath his tower. Abed, really hard to come and contest to DD Viper. Yeah, but as we spoke about, Abed doesn't necessarily care about winning the lane. He's going to be able to cast some power on himself. He's already got his glove of haste. He knows his game plan is behind the tier one. One more He's punch is all that they need, and they will get him. They okay. get that disruptor. This is what I was talking about, the lyrical. This this lane is scary, man. Elder Titan just running at you, a brewmaster on top of that. And if you look at the farm disparity right now, you know, Crystallize, he's got the 10 and 3, Brewmaster's at uh, 14 and 5. He's pulling ahead. And as soon as these heroes get higher level, like Brew hit 6, it's going to be really hard for Navi to stop that momentum. Yeah, that's the same type of thing that we saw last game as well, was Ramsey's being the one that uh, makes things happen early on. You can see again, just throwing out that spirit. It's a good bit of damage that they lay onto him there with the Cinder Brew. Very frustrating to play against. They just don't have enough damage to really kill either of these heroes. The, the way that they want to play the lane is slow. You know, you get the harass out, some frost arrows, a couple of multi-shots, your thunder strike. And you want to keep them low so they can't commit. Because if they're too high health, they're just going to run at you if they have the creep wave advantage. And you're not going to be able to kill them fast enough. And you're going to be the one that dies first. So, yeah, it's, uh, it's a hard lane to play for Navi. Fortunately, uh, at least for the time being, Pasha is able to get some solo EXP under tower. 
this hero getting levels and exp is going to be really important to navi's game plan because he's the only one that can stop pushes he needs levels early on oh, i've seen a couple other uh is he making a move yeah he got forced to tp out i, I wasn't sure uh, i had to check if the disruptor had glimpsed or not but he didn't so he's going to the thing that I found kind of interesting, I was watching some of the other Underlords uh, play. Mind Control tended to do a lot of like 4-4-1 four, four, build and only keeping the one point as atrophy is Ramses is going to go down up in the top lane. What you're talking about there, that early aggression. Uh, and I'm not sure exactly why that was, but it felt like he was going it for every game. But this time around, Pasha is going for uh, the two points into atrophy early on. A little bit of a diversion. So I, I've played a lot of Underlord actually. Okay. And in my experience, two atrophy is about as much as you ever want to put into it. Like, one point is solely for like the first couple of creep waves, so that you can try to oh, Abed. Getting baited by the creep glyph here, nice play there for Magical, very cool. Um, but yeah, going back to the Underlord, it's, it's because the second point into atrophy, if you look at the scaling, it's five to 15%, which is, you know, you're tripling the effectiveness of it. And then after that, it just gets worse numerically as top. Yeah, he's gonna get the toss back in another round of cinder brew onto everybody but with all the supports in the area and ramsey's now also in some trouble no points in glyph or rather on uh not glyph glimpse that's the other word but zayat's gonna try and chase down with the toss a couple of minutes with this before he can yeah, really nice movement coming in from navi though helping secure their lanes the glyph coming out too from magical getting the kill on Ada, which is really nice but yeah, as, as far as Underlord goes, not having Pit of Malice, you're just not, you're not a threatening hero without that spell. That's that's the main thing, is top again. Where's the tiny going? He's crazy. They just keep running in at him. Crystallize, seeing if he can live through this one. As Crit keeps punching into all of them, the chase down is coming as the toss up into the air. Crit, maybe gonna be able to find her quite there to get the last hit onto Crystallize. I think he actually misplayed that. Like, he's he stopped hitting the Drow when the Drow was hitting him, which means you get vision, right? Because he was hitting you. I think he could have actually got that kill. Fly's gonna die here mid. He's the Viper Strike. And yeah, Navi is just playing everywhere right now. Over to the side. Pasha gonna try and TP away. TZ not able to get vision on him. Was just able to juke through the trees there. Uh, but that does mean Underlord out of the lane for a little bit. He has six, which you can come back into tier two on now. I guess he's gonna go to the jungle for a little bit. Wait till the creep wave comes in. Yeah, it's a little bit scary. He's got a ward, but it's not gonna scout any TPs. Um, and obviously there's no shrine there anymore. So that ward is basically just a scout out where Abed is. Oh, the item. He got it. Ooh, Iron Talon, let's go. <laughs> not normally great to get at the, such a late time, but I mean, in this situation, it's okay. Yeah. Honestly, he probably just gives it to the drow. Because the Drow is probably going to have to leave lane soonish. Right. Because uh, Ramsey's going to hit six, and that's going to be a dead Drow if he doesn't leave. No, which Ramsey's only a couple hundred XP away from that. Crit and Fly still hanging out down on this bottom side of the map. Uh, there is a wraparound coming from Magical. He's hoping to get that ward down and maybe spot any gank rotations coming towards him. He's right now the top net worth hero in the game. All of Navi feeling quite good about themselves as they get a DD and he's gonna just fly his way up towards top. It's a ward. Yeah, they have a. They both have a ward, so they both teams can see what's going on here. Chase for crit, looking for it. Meanwhile, up to the side, Ramsey's really deep in there, hoping Kill to get level six. six and is gonna get oh. it, but can't quite get his ulti off. Which does mean they lose Ramsey's again. Fortunate go in there for EG. Yeah, that would have been a huge play if he actually got that split off, because he probably would have killed the Drow. Like, Drow can't run away. This hero is also very, very slow. We talked about the Viper being slow. Drow's kind of in the same boat. Oh, so I get kind of baited by the courier here. Fear pull back in. Frost Blast coming out on the Zayats. They get the sleep. The punch came in a little bit too late there. Now the glimpse away, Ramsey's going to be sent home, and Zayat looks to be living. Okay. Oh man, that was unfortunate there. A uh, little bit of a misclick as they woke him up with the right click coming from the Lich. Dude, they have to know there's a ward there on EG. There's no way that ward should be alive right now. 
especially the way that crit was getting attacked by the viper because it was nighttime right and he was hitting him from like max range around the pillar i'm surprised that ward didn't just immediately die Zayat runs into him. They break the smoke, as they did see that by the ward placed down by Magical, but they're going to chase forward now with the Ricky. Weren't expecting that rotation, and Magical is going to get eaten up by the four-man rotation. Now they get to lift up on the Tiny with the Wind Panda. Zayat trying to escape a second time now as they toss away the Magnus. You get that Hurl Boulder, and with everybody showing up, they finally find that kill. So EG striking back with the level sixes. Yeah, it was a nice movement. 